What up everyone, it's your boy xman 87 here bringing you another MoffX video and what I have for you today is the MoffX The Dark Knight Returns Armored Batman action figure review. Before I get into everything, if you could please leave a thumbs up like rating on the video to help show your support for my channel and I greatly appreciate it. Now with that said, let's go! Oh, it feels good to be back with my first review of the year. For some who don't know, while I was absent for a bit, COVID kicked my ass for about a month, but I kicked it right back. But I'm feeling much better and gonna take things easy. So, well, here I am. What better way for me to start the year than reviewing my favorite superhero of all time, the Batman. Hot off the heels from watching the Batman. I'm in full Batman mode now. <laughs> what a masterpiece of a movie it was. Anyways, a lot of back and forth with this figure for me. Pointing out a few dislikes along with my likings, but no matter what I give my final rating, it's up to you whether you feel it's worth spending the 90 plus dollars or not. Let's jump in and take a closer look at this armored Batman. Breaking news! Mofex is now making fully articulated 6 inch Lego action figures! <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. But uh, it's always funny how I found the Lego Batman head looking like the armored Batman from The Dark Knight Returns. And I will say that this helmet, Mofex did it right. I, I love it. It's got that squarish, roundish look that you want. And I really like the eyes here. They have this like blue kind of hue around the white pupils. So I think that looks really, really nice. And he is just mean mugging it. I really like the mean expression here. The facial structure underneath the cow. Everything. It just looks so good. Now my biggest visual gripe with this figure, as you can already tell since it's right in front of your face, is the cape. I do not like the way it's tailored. As you can see, it puffs up so high and it just feels like you move it up any further. Looks like he's rocking a hoodie, you know? <laughs> I don't like that. See... I like the way the cape is tucked in, but why couldn't they just, you know, tuck this in? As you can see, there's a seam at the collar here. I just wish they tucked the cape underneath here. It would have made for a much cleaner look, so it doesn't look good on display. It doesn't look good in photos. I wish I figured this out uh, while I was doing photos, but just to let you know, a workaround is kind of just, you know, uh, tucking the cape right here at the neck piece and just pop the helmet on. It looks like it's tucked in, you know, with the helmet. So that doesn't look bad, right? You know, but if you're gonna pop an alternate head on, like an unmasked head, it's not gonna work because as you can see, there's a flesh tone there. If you pop an alternate head, it's, it's yeah, there's no, you're not gonna get away with tucking that cape in, so. But everything else, it's looking mighty damn fine. I mean, the proportions is spot on to what I remember from the comics. And Dark Knight Returns is one of my favorite Batman stories of all time. So, oh, wow. <laughs> it is it's so good. I do wish there was just some more added paint details. I mean, if you look at it, Barely any paint details. I mean, you could see right here on the armored vest, you know, some slight shading. Not enough for my liking. Personally, I wish there was just a little bit more. Especially when you're paying 90 plus dollars, you want those paint details to bring out the armor. But the sculpting is all there from his spiky ears to his spiky toes. I mean, it's just a gorgeous figure. I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. And as you can see with the cape tucked in with the helmet on top of it looks so much better now. I will cover articulation later, but one key note is the shoulder pads. Uh, they're on this like double hinge and it can affect the limitations as far as trying to move the arm back. So if you move it up forward like that, you're not gonna be able to move his arm back. So what you'll have to do is kind of work this butterfly joint in and then uh, since this shoulder pad is on like this double hinge, it's kind of hard to tell, but let me zoom in and see if I could get some light in there. But you see that? That's the double hinge I'm talking about. So you're going to have to kind of work with that, move that back like so, and then move the arm out. But that's probably as much as you're going to 
get to move this arm back like that. Maybe I, maybe just a little bit more, but I don't know. I, yeah, I don't want to risk it, especially with Mofex. You know, the one thing is that their plastic is not the best. They have that kind of brittle plastic kind of feeling. It's not like a Marvel Legends where you could like beat it up and it's durable. Yeah, no, not with Mofex. Oh, look at this fine sculpting, man. Look at those buttons. Look at those wrinkles. So nice. I like the line work on the armor too. You got the gauntlet blades right there. You know, the fists came out nice. The armored plating on top of the hands and on the knuckles looks super nice. You know, plain yellow belt right there. So that's the back of the figure. There goes the bat butt, the only part of his body with no armor. Uh, Superman could have finished this by a lot quicker. He could have just kicked him straight in the ass right there. <laughs> you got the bat cup, the legs right there, the armor, the wrinkles, and uh, you get some the bat blades on the uh, boots right there with some nice line work. And then here are those nice spiky boots. Got a nice feel to it too. And even when you use the toe joint, yeah, it breaks up the scope on the bottom, but like on the side when you're gonna use it for posing and articulation, it still looks good. And lastly, taking a look at this cape, it's got those nice wrinkly folds and the uh, squiggly bottoms right there. And it is a posable wired cape, so it does span out pretty good. That's probably as wide as you're gonna get it. So, yeah, it looks really good. Like that. Now for additional accessories, he comes with two splayed out hands, two normal relaxed hands. He has two trigger hands, but no guns. Originally, he was supposed to come with his signature pulse rifle, but because of the new DC no guns on toys rule, he doesn't have it. So yeah, that really sucks. Just doesn't make sense to me that DC would make that rule to not promote violence, but yet release a bloody King Shark at retail that comes with two torn, gory limbs all bloody, and yeah, this doesn't promote violence, right? Totally understand that, DC. Bunch of snowflakes. And he comes with two specialized action hands. So let's put these on him right now. We'll just take this hand off nice and smooth. Put that palm hand on like so. And then as you can see, that deep cut right there, so you can get his hand in a straight vertical position like so. Then to complement that hand, he does have this yellow acid spray effect, and it would plug into the peg. It does have this kind of L shape to it, so you just have to align the shape on the hand with the effect. That way it plugs in nicely, and this is what he used to spray Superman in the face with. Look at you, Batman, taking tricks off of Joker sleeves. Then he has this really cool smoke grenade. I like this translucent orange effect. Looks really nice. And uh, that's for the other hand to hold. So you could just slide that in like so. That way you can uh, arm your Batman with some gadgets. Then he comes with an alternate grinning head. And this looks really cool. <laughs> First try. <laughs> I can't get that damn Lego Batman out of my head now. <laughs> really cool alternate head sculpt. I do like the way the teeth is sculpted, right? Looks really nice. I don't know if I like this one more or the default head one, but either way, both are great head sculpts. Can't go wrong. Then lastly, he comes with an old man Bruce Wayne head, and wow, look at the expression on this. This sculpt is superb. I love the expression. Look at the sculpt on the forehead, you know, facial muscles, all that just looks so good. <laughs> My only gripe with this is the same with the other old man Wayne heads. It's the hair is too white, you know, would have been nice to get some gray shading in there. But wow, what a killer head sculpt. And of course, you can always borrow one of the heads from the other Dark Knight Returns Mofex figures. So if you want a battle damage look, go with this one. If you want a neutral look, you can go with this one. So man, all great head sculpts here. They're all winners. Now to cover articulation, his head moves up about that far, double neck joint. And it moves that far down, which is a good amount. Moves left, right. It does tilt side to side, and it does rock around. His arms, as I pointed before, the shoulder pads or pauldrons, whatever you want to call them, has a double hinge. They can shift up, and you can move his arm up like so. So, you know, you're not going to get a full T-pose. That's all you're going to get. They do move down. It does have the drop-down mechanic, so you can shift his arm up and down. He has a butterfly joint that only moves that far forward. It's a lot forward, actually. So it has some good forward movement, but it does not move any further back. That's the stopping point right there. His arm does move up 
and it moves down. He's got a bicep swivel. You got double jointed elbows that work like a single jointed elbow. So it stops right there at 90 degree mark. It's not that bad though. Posing him around in photos didn't really bother me. And you got the wrist swivel and the multi-directional ball jointed hinge. He's got a double diaphragm joint. So it only moves that far forward and it moves that far back. You got an upper torso swivel, but whew, I'm so afraid to, you know, move it. Uh, it has that nasty sound like it's about to snap. So I just normally swivel him at the waist, which has good movement. And he does have that nice pivot and it does rock around. His legs move about that far apart so he can make a full split. That's really good. And a drop down thigh mechanic so they shift up and down. You got a slight thigh swivel. The legs can rock around. They move up that high and about that far back so it's an awkward frontward split but they do move he's got double jointed knees but no heel to the armored bat butt then he's got ball jointed ankles so they do swivel they move up that far and down that low you got nice ankle rockers here and you got the toe joint got a lot of fun comparisons for you all so stacking him up next to some other batman armors we have the mattel dc multiverse rookie and justice buster baths here he is next to the mcfarlane toys dc multiverse merciless bath and the hellbat suit here he is next to the dc collectibles thrasher suit and the NECA predator armor batman here he is next to two other moffex batmans from the dark knight returns the battle damage blue suit and regular black suit here he is next to the moffex the dark knight returns batman classic blue suit and carrie kelly robin here he is with our Moffex, the Dark Knight Returns Joker. Next, we have Mattel's DC Multiverse Alfred. I no longer have the Dark Knight Returns figures from Mattel, so I couldn't use that Superman in comparison. And I'm not getting the McFarlane toys either. But here is the Mezco 112 Collective Superman, which has the closest bulk to the Dark Knight Returns version of him. Here's a cool comparison. We have him next to the DC Collectibles Batman the Animated Series Bat Signal and the Mezco Toys Bat Signal. Lastly, for shits and giggles, here he is next to Lego Batman. <laughs> I just had to do this. And now to wrap things up, my final rating is a 7.5 out of 10. I think this is still a pretty solid figure if you know what you're working with. As we can see, the figure suffers from some engineering flaws like the cape not being tucked in and the shoulder pads restricting arm movement. I wish they went with a pliable material for those shoulder pads, giving us more flexibility and to have some peace of mind that it won't snap because there's a high probability that it might eventually snap over time. I think many of you will find the arms as the biggest downside for articulation, but everything else, I was able to move freely with no problems. Even the double jointed knees that act as single joints didn't pose a problem for me. Then you got the posable cape, which will just add more dynamic to complement your articulated poses. Plenty of good options for accessories with hands, heads, and effects, but you do feel the hit of that missing pulse rifle as those trigger hands are useless. Now it's only good for picking his own nose. <laughs> Hopefully they can sneak in that pulse rifle with the upcoming Moffex The Dark Knight Returns Superman figure as a bonus accessory, but I'm not going to rely on that. Lastly, the sculpt and paint combo. We all know that the sculpt is there. It's the visual highlight of the figure, but the lack of paint details on the armor is almost non-existent. It's depressing, but at least the plastic color palettes are correct to the source material. Bottom line, I still found the figure enjoyable. It's a delight. It's hard for me to dislike a Batman figure, especially one from Moffex who makes the best looking comic book based action figures. If you are a huge fan of The Dark Knight Returns or just Batman in general, I still think you should pick this up. Again, that's totally up to you. In my opinion, the best comic armored Batman figure from this story arc. Now I kick it back to you. What do you think about this armored Batman? Are you copying or passing? Who else would you like to see Moffex make from The Dark Knight Returns? I honestly would love to see an old man green arrow with some kryptonite arrows. It'll help complete the fight scene. I don't think he's ever been done before in action figure form. So I think he'll be really cool to see, especially just having one arm. Comment below, let me know, we'll chat about it. That was my review. Please follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Link is in the description below. Get your Metacom Toys, Mafex, The Dark Knight Returns, Armored Batman action figure at Entertainment Earth. Link is in the description below. Hit the notification bell so you always know when my latest videos are up. Share and subscribe if you're new. Enjoy the pics at the end of the video. See you on the next review. Peace, peace.